we held our ground against Sucker's robot army. I mean, the war has just begun, but now they at least know that they're in for a fight. A cat fight? Meow, bitch! I say bitch now. <laughs> it's, it's really fun to say it to other people and not to hear it about you. Anyway, what an afternoon. First, I went to the movies and I saw Garfield. Then, I was responsible for freeing my leopard people. Made me really thirsty. And you know what? I had to just take what I could get for an army. I mean, it was pretty slim pickings. I found a bunch of leopard people, that was good. I found about seven dogs, 62 lemmings, nine rats, some guinea pigs, and a partridge in a pear tree. Ooh, and I got this box full of robot souvenirs. Look at this, my favorite. A hand, look at this, woo! High five, we beat you! <laughs> so I had to just kind of go with the flow at first. Everybody was fighting like cats and dogs. Trying to get everybody to agree on one plan was really difficult. The birds, they almost flew the coop. And you know, birds of a feather do flock together. So they were ready to leave. They really wanted to do the like, two robots, one stone strategy. But then the dogs were saying that idea was barking up the wrong tree and to throw them a bone. The bees and the beavers, they just wanted to get busy. This one snail kept asking us to go at his pace. This groundhog, he just saw his shadow and took off. The pigs were like eating a lot of food and they were showing off being such hams. And the chickens, well, they were scared. The mice, we couldn't even hear what their ideas were. This one dark horse kept suggesting that, you know, right from his mouth, it was like we were beating him every time a rejected idea came up again. Then these monkeys, they were just laughing and saying that we should just copy what they do. Nobody trusted the snake in the grass's ideas. Obviously, you can guess who wanted us to play possum. But the rats just told the robots where we were anyway, so the cat was out of the bag. We had ourselves a fight. The lemmings, they were the worst. 62 of them. First sign of trouble, they just hucked themselves off a cliff. And as it pains me to say it, the dogs were the most helpful. They inadvertently figured out that if they peed on the robot's legs, they would short circuit them. It was really awesome. Oh, and that partridge? Useless. It just sat there. And then, well, there was Carl. This is Carl. He's a guinea pig and, you know, we decided to test our strategies on them first and our weapons. And, um, well, they worked, so, so Carl's, Carl's dead. I'm really sorry, Carl. Oh, and I found this cute little robot chest plate. I could make some kind of an outfit out of it. Wait a minute, is this an A cup? Maybe not. I'll give it to the Major. <sighs> All this fighting and liberating makes me hungry. Mm. Mm. Carl, sorry.